Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got another custom e-bike build. I'm, I'm gonna go over what bike this is, what components we used, and what makes this bike a little more interesting than the other ones. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I professionally convert bikes into e-bikes. I think it's the best way to go. Instead of buying pre-made bikes, just convert the bike you wanna do. If you like videos like this, take a look at my other videos. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so you can see this is a little bit different bike. This is, this is already a pre-made e-bike that we decided to put a Bafang mid-drive on. Did have a front hub motor on this, didn't have a display, didn't have pedal assist or anything like that. So we just bypassed it and made it into a pretty cool bike. Put a mid-drive on it and now it has a display. Yeah, we were able to reuse the, the battery. We couldn't get a replacement controller for this because the manufacturer just didn't have any and they didn't know when they were gonna get any more in and the customer was waiting for months to try to get support and he couldn't get support. So said, hey, let's just bypass it. Let's bypass the controller because I couldn't find any either. Let's just put a, a new motor in that's gonna be better. You're gonna get a lot more functionality out of it. So that's what we did. So we got the Bafang BBSO2 mid-drive, puts out 750 watts on it. We've got the Bafang C96 one display it's a basic display but it's better than what there was on here which was nothing and it's got a throttle on it nine levels of pedal assist i really think he's gonna really like this bike it's gonna be a big upgrade from what this bike was it's got brake cutoffs and it's we're gonna be reusing the juiced bikes 48 volt 15.6 amp hour battery he said it's a few years old but it should still give him a decent amount of range it's it's kind of a cool bike you know it's kind of like a, a small compact cargo bike which is pretty cool you could put some big pannier bags on here here and make it into a bike now that it's got like some power to it this bike this is this could be a real fun bike we just left the front motor in there because to rebuild that wheel would be pretty expensive not worth it in my opinion but that's something that can be done later on you know if he decides that he doesn't want to stare down at that motor or drag around that extra nine pounds you could replace it but it's really not going to do any harm leaving it there like that but yeah this bike's got 20 inch wheel so they're really small uh keeps the center of gravity real low it's a step through design so it is, it is a nice bike design you know it's just one of the things when you buy a pre-made bike hopefully you will get support uh, and i'm not trying to bash juice but in this specific situation they couldn't help the customer out so we had to bypass it that's just one of the reasons why if you do go with a conversion kit especially like a buffang they're ubiquitous you will always get support with them you could buy replacement parts for it on ebay or amazon you could do it yourself you don't have to wait for the manufacturer to be in stock for their own parts this is one of the big reasons why i always recommend people converting a bike you know find a bike that you really like and then convert it i'm not going to do a johnny nerd out test on this um but top speed is about 20 21 miles an hour on this it was 15 so i think it's a big performance upgrade um, i'm not gonna be doing hill climbing on this or anything so it would be kind of cool though but i don't know all right so yeah so if you guys were ever curious about if you could upgrade or convert a pre-made bike you totally can but yeah pretty happy with this and so hopefully we were able to salvage this bike for the customer and he's able to ride on all right thanks for nerding out guys have a good one